What's up friends? Today I have something really interesting. I have the E13 TRS R cassette. Now this is a 9 to 46 cassette. It's 11 speed. So you've got gears to ride your bike. No excuse not to climb up those mountains. This is the, this is the TRS R cassette inside this box. Now look at that. Eco-friendly my friends. Check it out. Sick. Thinking about the future of our children, right? Here we go, check that out. <laughs> now that is a good cassette, right? Included in the packaging is this cassette, uh, the special E13 cassette tool. You get everything you need for the installation with the cassette, which is a bonus. No more running around. Now this fits on a normal SRAM XD driver, so if you're running Shimano at the moment, you're gonna have to change your hub this is only for XD drivers. Ideally, this would work best with a 32 tube chainring because there is 511% gear range. You don't need to ride a 34 tooth or a 36 tooth. It's just unnecessary. So the lower section of this is steel and the top three is an alloy. If you've got one cog that's skipping on your cassette, you can just replace that section of cog. So this, you can just there's no wasting. You don't have to throw away a perfectly good rest of your cassette. You can just replace that section. So another thing to mention is between the 9 and the 10 cogs, there is a bushing to eliminate any creak. Now if this is installed correctly, you will not have any creak. It is very important to note that these connection blocks on this E13 cassette needs to be greased on the outside as well as the inside in the rear. Lubrication in the rear. There's a bushing on the inner section of this cassette right by that 9 tooth and uh, what you need to do is you need to lube that up and twist it in so that it's nicely greased into place. Grease him up nice and good. So grease up at the back end on the engagement teeth on the XD driver and then grease up that thread on the XD driver and then on the front end on the carrying section of the XD driver. Connect up that E13 cassette. Grease it up some more. Attach the lock ring. So you've got to grease up on the inside of this lock ring as well. Use the tool that's applied with the cassette and torque that up to 25 Newton meters. Note the unlock setting. Match up the key and the unlock setting right over there. These two halves, you're gonna to have to push hard together to get them flush and even. And then you can proceed to the lock action of the installation. Putting the wheel back in. With a new cassette, you should run a new chain. This is just an old one. During the B-screw setup on your derailleur, you have to make sure that you've got the chain on the second from top cog on the cassette. During rotation of the jockey wheel and the cassette teeth, that tooth over there needs to overlap that tooth over there by 50%. If you're not workshop savvy, do not install this by yourself. Take it to a bike shop or a professional to have it installed for you. Otherwise, if you are savvy and you are used to replacing cassettes, then you can do it yourself. But if you're not, take it to a workshop. 